Welcome to the Next Level Podcast. So today we're talking with our owner and founder, Dr. Jerry Yu. Um, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we wanted to talk today just a little bit about uh, what's next for Next Level and uh, just about what where we've all come from and why Next Level is what it is. Um, so for those of you that have never met or seen Dr. Jerry Yu, this is his beautiful face. <laughs> and he is um, going to just give a short introduction and then we're going to get going. Thanks, Dave and Dr. Alex. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you guys because uh, you guys have been uh, really instrumental in getting this off the ground. We've always wanted to do this. And I think it's a big uh, investment of time, of course. But also it's important for our audience to know uh, more about what we do that's outside of physio physiotherapy. So kudos to Dr. Alex and Dr. Dave. Uh, for me, uh, I've been, Jerry you, I've been in practice for now 21 years. So I'm very old, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, it's, it's interesting for me to have seen the field evolve from very basic kinds of care to the kinds of things that we see. And many of you have probably seen on social media. Uh, there are a lot of things that are very cutting edge that we didn't have 15, 20 years ago. And it's exciting to see that. And even for me, um, although I am an old dog, uh, there are different ways of doing things that I'm learning from from our team members. Um, and it's exciting to see that uh, the evolution of the field to where it's become uh, something that's uh, prized and valued by a lot of people, especially the way that we do things here at Next Level. Yeah, I mean, um, I wasn't here when we started Next Level, but I've worked with you for many, many years. Mm -hmm. um, can you just tell us a little bit about, like, what was your vision for Next Level and why you wanted to create? So I think for me and a lot of people who um, end up going off on their own, I think just getting tired of doing ordinary care, uh, also just being uh, bombarded by seeing three to five patients an hour, uh, doing cookie cutter exercises. These are all things that for me over the years, like this is not PT. Um, putting a hot pack on feels good. Doesn't have any functional value for somebody, but these are, you know, these are things that I thought you know, we could do better than this. And so through my own exploration and my own sort of uh, knowledge seeking time at the time with what we had, I wanted to do something that was different and looking at how do we get people to not only think about getting their injuries and their pain checked out limitations, but how do we get them on that continuum of wellness? And basically having a hybrid model where we incorporate fitness into what we do for physiotherapy and helping people to see that, you know, there's a lot more that you can do if you just let yourself go there. And that's kind of what Next Level was born from. How do we help people get that transformed mindset getting from, oh, well, you know, kind of sedentary to where they're maybe they're doing the first 5K, maybe they're going to their first uh, gym class or yoga class, whatever, things that they didn't think they could do. We want to help them get to that next level, whatever it might be for that person. No, no pun intended. <laughs> right. And something you touched on before, and uh, I've heard plenty of patients come in that are always impressed with the investment in some of the more modern technology yes. um, and modalities that we've been using. So why is that so important uh, to incorporate in the next level? I think a couple of things. Um, I, I think whenever you're managing or, or working with a client, especially when they've been through the run of the mill, uh, it's always important to have as many tools as you can. And I know you can go to the nth degree with that, but there are things that I, I find uh, that have some sort of backing from research uh, to help us get clients to feel better, whatever that might be, whether it's using a uh, shockwave, cold laser, uh, BFR, uh, having the Ultra G, all these things sort of complement the care that we give based on the kind of approach that we want to give to the client. Yeah, I mean, I, I think of it like um, like a contractor, right? You have to have the right tools for the job and you could maybe get the job done if you don't have the right tools, but it could possibly take longer. Yeah. It could be less efficient, uh, maybe cause more pain. Um, so uh, I think that the investment in all the technology, um, and not that we're like a modality driven clinic, right. you know, it's, we're very active in terms of our Living interventions. Yeah, for sure. And we're not about like, you just sit there and let me do stuff to you. But Having the tools to our disposal, I think just for me personally, allows a lot of freedom um, and we could, uh, you know, get people going a little bit faster than if we didn't have the right tools. Absolutely. Accelerant recovery is one of the biggest goals that we have. Um, you know, we do have patients who come in for many different reasons during the year because being active, 
you're going to do something stupid. I know I've done something stupid. So um, having different options for them throughout the year based on what they may be coming in with, I think is really important. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think that that is something that definitely distinguishes uh, Next Level from a lot of other places. Um, the understanding of how uh, physical therapy is a conglomeration of a lot of different disciplines and how we need to pull from the best available research and the best available technologies to get to the patient's goal. Absolutely, yeah. Awesome. And something that I think is interesting and maybe some of our uh, listeners or subscribers don't actually realize is, so Next Level, uh, we, we specialize in an athletic demographic and getting people back to those sports that they love. But um, what they may not know is that I believe you've seen patients as young as like two months old and probably as old as 92 years old. Exactly. Um, and it runs such a large gambit. So what is your, I guess, methodology behind just seeing that large span and, and, and getting, you know, patients who may not be getting back to a specific sport, but rather like functional movement. Right. Um, it's funny because I, I think I fell into that lifespan spectrum just because of the nature of my past. Uh, I've worked uh, with kids with severe disabilities uh, as part of my earlier career. Um, and from there, uh, also got into sports medicine and sports rehab. And uh, from all the experience I've done, also working with the geriatric population. So by virtue of what I was presented with and the opportunities that came up, I just had a very, um, very fortunate experience of working all those different parts of lifespan. So for sure, the common thread is movement. And whether you're three months old or six months old trying to get your child to uh, sit and whatever, and maybe they're delayed uh, on the gross motor scale, um, or if they are a youth athlete or if they're someone in their 20s or 30s, Everyone has, a, you know, do we address movement issues and trying to get the restoration of movement? So I think that's probably, to answer your question, that's uh, probably more of like the methodology is more from my experiences and uh, understanding that every single part of that lifespan has to move. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like if any patient has a goal, right, or whatever objective they're trying to reach, if it's a 92 year old grandma, maybe she just wants to be able to get it on and off right. the floor and play with her grandkid. Um, for the four-year-old, they want to go play, right? For the D1 college athlete, they want to get back on the field. So yeah. um, it seems like your methodology or your um, uh, mindset is to get people to their goals, no matter what that goal is. Exactly. Hence the Move, Excel, Inspire or MEI uh, methodology model. Mm -hmm. uh, we're looking to get people to get to their basic level of movement so that they, they can excel in the areas that they're looking to get back to. And in that Spire phase is really about getting them to where they want to be and beyond. Yeah. So my whole goal uh, of the model was to take somebody coming in and get them to a level where they never thought they could go. Mm -hmm. And that's exciting when you see people th do things that they never thought they could do. So uh, can you just uh, kind of formally explain what the Move, Excel, Inspire, the, or the MEI model, as we call it here, mm -hmm. uh, what that means? Yeah, sure. So during the Move phase, we're looking at helping people get back to basic activity, uh, getting their pain down, uh, so that they can actually then move to the Excel phase, where we're stabilizing joints, uh, looking at uh, securing uh, the movements, and also getting some basic strength in there, too. And finally, in the, in the uh, Inspire phase, we're then looking to get them to test their capacity so that they can do the things that they love to do because that's really what it's all about. Like, hey, I can't golf anymore because, or I can't golf 18 holes anymore because of my back pain. Okay, great. So let's get you to that phase in the spire phase. We can get not only 18 holes, but maybe it's a couple rounds of 18 holes. That's how we know that you're really at that um, test of capacity that you can go back safely. Yeah. Um... And yeah, that's something that we, we preach every single day to each one of our, each one of our patients. Like, what is their goal and how can we push them further than they've ever gone before? Exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I wanted to, we also wanted to talk about, uh, what the next steps are that we've kind of talked about where we've been and where, how we started. Um, so we have some exciting news. Yes. Uh, if you would like to divulge some of that news. Yeah, happy to. Uh, we're, we're excited to finally, we've had a soft launch of our Montclair location. And uh, we have Dr. Dave Kim and Carolyn over there. Uh, we also have Dr. Nick and Alyssa uh, helping out. And that was a, a really great uh, opportunity for us to go into the Texas County community and bring what we, what we do to the table over there. 
Um, and now we are, we just got the approval. So we're going to open our third office down in uh, North Carolina, specifically at an aquatic center where, uh, as you know, everyone knows, we see a lot of triathletes, we see a lot of uh, uh, multi-sport athletes. And so this is an awesome opportunity for us to have a space to be able to see them in that environment and also do aquatic therapy for people who need that. So people with complicated cases or people after surgery, if they need to have a non-weight bearing or less weight bearing environment. Uh, this is actually where we can do that. So it's very exciting. So That's that'll awesome. be number three. Um, and, uh, definitely, you know, uh, I seem to be somebody who likes to live outside his comfort zone for whatever reason. Um, but it's, uh, it's exciting to, to be able to bring, I think what we do in the Northeast down to the South and, um, do what we can do what we do best and make a name for ourselves there. Fantastic. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we're we're really excited. I, uh, Jerry showed some pictures of the place, and it's yeah, it's looks really, great. really cool. Looks great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you guys. Uh, you'd be surprised what we're paying, which is uh, very helpful for us. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're we're looking forward to uh, to having some impact down there. Nice. Yeah, yeah and um, also uh, Jerry is going to be launching the next level podcast. Yes. Also. Uh, uh, in North Carolina? Yeah, so uh, one of the things we want to do in North Carolina is uh, meet with uh, high-quality uh, business owners and people who are like-minded in the fitness field or medical field and give them a platform for them to share uh, their knowledge with our community. And I think by having it, uh, having, a, I guess, a, a subset of our podcast down in North Carolina, kind of adding some more breath to who we can see and who we can invite onto our show, I'm very excited about too. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, we look forward to it. So Jerry's going to be a, another uh, podcast host, uh, along with Alex and myself. And uh, you're going to be seeing uh, future episodes with uh, Dr. Yu, interviewing uh, many very interesting guests. We have a, a couple of them lined up already. Yes. Uh, and we're, we're super excited to see that. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, guys. I hope I can measure up to what you guys have done so far. Oh, shucks. <laughs> 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 all four of the podcasts that we've had. <laughs> right. um, yeah, so uh, that's probably it for today. Um, if uh, you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. Uh, you're, you can see us on Spotify, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Apple Music, and on YouTube if you want to see the full episodes. Uh, Dr. Yu, we'll see you in future episodes, Thank and you. that'll be it for today. Awesome.